UFC and Olympic props and parlays. Welcome to Props and Parlays today. I'm Andy from wagertalk.com. Let's waste no time and let's get right into it. So what we're going to go over today is we're going to go over some UFC props as of now. We're recording this on Tuesday. I want to go over some UFC props as they've just come out and we're going to talk about some Olympic plays as well. So um, when we're looking at the props that are available on UFC, we really want to look at these over-unders, and I don't think there's a ton of them. Um, let's see here. Uh, Cedric Dumas and Dennis Tolulin. I like the over, but it's too juicy. I I, I like I like Dumas a lot <laughs> in that fight. Uh, I think Tolulin's done. Over-under, not going to do much with it. Uh, Jai Herber and Rolando Bedoya. Absolutely, this is a... Boy, my, uh, minus 180 on the over two and a half. It's playable on its own, but it's also a really good parlay piece. Orlando Bedoya just doesn't have a lot of upside, in my opinion. Um, he's gone the distance in his uh, first couple UFC fights. When you go back and look at him, okay striking, but not great. Can wrestle a little bit, but not great. And Jai Herbert, just not a lot of finishes. Um, like, like his last fight, kind of a lot of wrestling, a lot of... Clinch work, and I, I just I think this one is destined to go the distance. I don't see who has the ability to finish who in this one, so I do like that one. Uh, Victoria Dudikova and Sam Hughes, yeah, uh, over two and a half. That one's probably juiced out of our our ability right there. Gazi and Mays, I'm not sure where they're getting the over under numbers here. I like the over plus money big time on this one. Dante Mays, like he's a punching bag. We know this. He's not very fast. We know this. He is not going to finish Gaziev. We know this. So the only finish that's coming is from Gaziev. And, I, you know, Gaziev, he gets the finish against Martin Budai in his first fight in the UFC. And then he gets put in this crazy fight against Rosenstrike where he has to jump in short notice I do a five-round main event. He ended up gassing out, and uh, he couldn't see out of his eye. So he had to quit, but that was in round four. And I, I like I, I as weird as Mays is and as bad as Mays is, I don't think that he the he's the kind of guy that's gonna give up a submission or even a knockout to Gaziev. There's real value on the over here. I, I think Gaziev wins by decision and getting plus money here on the over two and a half seems pretty, pretty good in that one. Um so that's kind of interesting. Uh Muhammad Yaya and Kwai Frontes, I do love the over one and a half here. Neither of these guys are very good. Um, and so it kind of cancels each other out, and you end up with guys that just don't have a whole lot of finishing ability. Yaya is so limited. Like, just the way he stands is really, really not great. He got schooled in his first UFC fight, which we saw coming. Fernandez, you know, he got taken down at will. He spent most of his UFC debut on his back. When I watch these guys, I don't see a finish from either one. Over one and a half, I'm loving. Uh, Menafield and Mirzakhanov, I think these numbers are right. No value there. Alvarez and Brenner. Yeah, I do agree that this fight goes over one and a half. I don't think it goes the distance. Alvarez seems to like to stand and bang on the feet for the first round. And then like in the second round, he tends to get it on the ground where he's a nightmare. If when this fight gets to the ground, if it go, go, goes to the ground, Alvarez will finish Brenner. If it stays on the feet for three rounds, then who knows? Brenner's got knockout power. I don't think it goes the distance, but I'm not willing to mess around with the one and a half. So, uh, Dern and Loopy over two and a half. Yeah, all day. Uh, I don't see who's finishing him in that one. Ferguson and Chiesa. I want nothing to do with this fight. And of course, they don't give us lines for it. Marlon Vera and uh, Davidson figure it out. I love the overs in this one. Uh, once they release the lines to start round two is an absolute 100% parlay piece. Vera and Fig to start round two, 100%. These guys start off slow. They like to feel each other out. Um, I think they're pretty evenly matched. Vera's probably going to have the size advantage, but uh, this is this is to start round two, absolutely. Shara and Ola Kasechek, um, if it gets on the ground, Magomedov is probably going to submit or finish Ola Kasechek. If it stands on the feet, or if it stays on the feet, could go the distance, so I like nothing there. And then uh, Sanhagen and uh, Nurmagomedov, I don't... I think these guys are really equal. I think these, this line is crazy, but I think this fight goes quite a, quite a while. I, it's not going to be like like the Bilal Muhammad Leon Edwards, but I think I just I'm not really sure where a weakness is in either of these guys. Where the other one takes advantage, and 
you know, gets a finish. So I do, I think this one probably goes a distance. So that's going to be your UFC uh, props and parlays. We'll go over some Olympics here real quick. Just wanted to let you guys know we did our recap video on the other YouTube channel. Um, just a quick recap from last week, full transparency. We went 11 and six. We only brought in one unit, uh, cause we lost the 5%, but overall had a winning record. Um, so still having a fantastic 2024 up 84 units. We got a 5% play of the week. It's a cross sport parlay, 28 and 12 run on these. So these have just been our bread and butter. We keep doing really, really well on them. I know we dropped some units on them last week, but overall, we are five weeks in a row in the profit. So that is quite the run. We're going for 6-0. and 6-0 and would be pretty, pretty amazing. Um, I think we can do it. I love the card. And we're going to get into some Olympic, some Olympic bets. And um, I think Olympic golf is a good spot for us. So we'll get into that. But you guys know I always share, like, kind of eh, how we did last week. And if you bought a seven-day pass, how did we do? If you're a year-long pass, um, you know how we're doing on um, on, on the units and the ROI. So let's take a look at some of the Olympic lines. We'll start with golf because I think that's where, if I have bets, that's just kind of where it's going to be the most. So I talked about John Rahm, top 20, include, or no, uh, tournament, here we go, top 10. Uh, this was minus 140. It's already minus 150. I like John Rahm. Top 10 at the Open Championship. He won the live event. He's got his confidence back a little bit, and this is a short field. There's only 60 people in it, and it falls off a cliff. You got Scheffler, Shoffley, Rory, who I'm not high on this week. Rom, who I am high on this week. Morikawa, eh. Aberg, don't know what to expect with him. But then Fleetwood, Neiman, Hovland, Kim, Lowry, Connors. Rom is better than these guys. He is. Right now, on this course over in Europe, he is. So, um... Yeah, top 10 at minus 140. Yeah, we've been cashing on him to finish top 10 on the live tour all year long. We did it again last week, and he won. So uh, I will absolutely take that. <clears throat> we could also look at, <clears throat> not to include the ties, but, <clears throat> man, Xander Shoffley at minus 200 just to finish in the top 10. How many guys are going to finish ahead of him? One? <laughs> Maybe two. This guy's going to be in the top ten. His course is, fits to his game well. He's accurate off the tee. His putting and short game has been fantastic. And in the last three months, he has passed Scotty Shuffler for total strokes gain. In the last three months, Shoffley, your boy, is number one for total strokes gain. So it's minus 200 just finished in the top ten. Um, yeah, that's got my attention written all over it. Absolutely 100%. Um, if we wanted to dip just a little bit deeper, I do like Corey Connors to finish in the top 20. Again, once you get past Corey Connors, you're looking at guys like Matsuyama, who's been terrible lately. Straka, who's got upside. Fat Fitzpatrick's been terrible. Ben on, eh. Day, no. Dietrich, no. Minwoo Lee, I guess, maybe. But Bazudin Hoyt, he's got a withdrawal recently. Um, Wyndham Clark, no. Payval. Like, you can see it just really falls off a cliff, so... Looking at Corey Connors to finish tied inside the top 20, that's another one that I will absolutely look at. So there's some really, really good parlay pieces for the men's Olympic golf um, uh, going on this week. So um, Let's take a look at tennis here. There's a few spots I think that are good for tennis. Some of the lines are completely out of whack, but you're kind of seeing some of these guys like, a lot of these, a lot of these guys are winning two zero. So if you're looking at if you if you don't want to play Djokovic, just play him like minus five hundred as a parlay piece to win two zero. Um, you know, Kepfer gets down one, he's just gonna kind of melt. That's kind of what we've seen. You know, even Alcaraz yesterday, like easily wins the first set. It has to battle back in the second, but then once they get to the tiebreak, Greek Sport just kind of gives up there at the end. So these two zero plays are, you know, pretty decent. So you can get Alcaraz, Djokovic, both to win 2-0. Against guys, they should win 2-0. So now you're at minus 250. Now you just need one more parlay piece, and we've gone over a few of those uh, that you could do. So um, those are a couple of ones uh, that we would be looking at. Even Rudd, yeah, Casper Rudd here at minus 600. So when you're looking at tennis, those are kind of the ways uh, that we would be looking at that. We can take a look at volleyball. <clears throat> 
<laughs> um, I just have to bring up, if you're desperate for some kind of parlay piece, or if you have a massive bankroll, Poland over Kenya. Uh, uh, Kenya got... Kenya's, let's just say they're a little bit out of their league. Uh, they got bulldozed by uh, by Brazil. And you might even look at Poland minus 31 and a half games. Uh, I think Kenya lost by like 35 games, 34 games against Brazil. And I believe Poland's just a little bit a little bit better. The worry with a spread this big is that Poland pulls off the dogs and you end up with like kind of a closer third set and it blows it. But I, I, there is just, I mean, all these parlay pieces are minus 2,100 and like, I don't want to come on here and say, see, I told you my minus 2,100 uh, hit. But if you're, uh, this one is just, if you have bet 365, you can find some different ways uh, to play this one. But that one is uh, absolutely a uh, really good play. Um, let's see, uh, Italy over Netherlands, I like as a nice parlay piece, uh, that would do it for, um, the women's volleyball, men's volleyball, I didn't have a whole lot, um, yeah, 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 nothing on that one, so, uh, we can look at handball, we missed our, uh, fade of the, um, we missed our fade of the, uh, uh, South Korean team. So, uh, unfortunately, so that was that kind of sucked. I do like Slovenia plus seven and a half against Norway. Uh, Norway, they definitely uh, against South Korea. They definitely pulled off the dogs. Um, they only won the first half by two, and then you know won by a few more in the second half. Slovenia is better than South Korea. I think Slovenia gives them a little bit of a of a of a game here. And don't be surprised if you get kind of a backdoor cover. I like Slovenia plus seven and a half against Norway in handball. And I believe that is it for what I really like in the Olympics and such. So, uh, thanks everyone for joining us on props and parlays day. Make sure to hit the like button, please helps the algorithm out, helps everyone, uh, wager talk. know we're doing a good job for you, but, uh, UFC props, um, are going to be pretty big. Don't forget. We got PFL, this week so we will have pfl plays up so go grab that five percent play but if you could hit the like button and just leave a comment below it really helps the algorithm out so um code word we will do code word is light l-i-g-h-t so if you guys are watching this the end thank you very much code word is light in the comment section so thanks very much good luck we'll see everyone on the next episode of props and parlays today